See friends, we find different categories of people in this world. Some people earn with their hard work and maintain their family. Some people depend on luck and they buy lottery tickets and all. They want to get some easy money. Some people lead their lives just like parasites. They try to cheat others and then make their livelihood. That is their way of making their livelihood. And here is the people. They always make cock and bull stories, illogical and cock and bull stories and make them fall in their trap. Such people don't have any goals in their lives. So those are called uh, Road Romeos, Avaras, we call them by uh, such names. Let us know the story. One day these Avaras were going uh, towards the other village to cheat the people there. When they were going, they found a wealthy man coming towards them. So he looked very rich, very wealthy. So he wanted to take whatever uh, he had with him. So they were making different plans how to cheat them. They started making cock and bull stories. So normally whenever uh, we, these people, villagers travel from place to place, they want to take shelter in somebody's house. Once there was a village head, um, his he had a uh, platform outside and people used to take rest for a while on his platform. In that way, the villager also, the wealthy man also sat on the platform. These four uh, guys uh, went there and sat in front of him. Then they started saying, Now let's come to the story. Those four guys made a challenge with the wealthy man. Sir, weather is cloudy. It may rain at any time. Why don't we stay here for some time? Said one. The wealthy man said, Yes, you are right. We can stay here if the owner gives permission. The owner happened to be the village said. He agreed. These guys started implementing their plans. Sir, can we make a challenge to pass our time? Why not? I am interested in challenges. Said the wealthy man. Each one of us will tell a story, but you shouldn't say no. If you say no, you have to give us whatever you have. If you say yes, we will give you money. You can also tell some story and we too have to follow the same rules, said another guy. The rich man agreed. The village head became the mediator. See friends here. When two parties are making challenges, third person should also be there. So who is the third person here? The village head. Now the first guy started telling a story. When I was two months old, I was passing through a jungle. I saw a tiger approaching me. I found a tamarind tree. I climbed up. I took out the seed of tamarind, threw at the tiger. It hit the tiger so hard, the tiger died on the spot. See how many exaggerations are there in his story. Can a person of just two months old walk in the jungle? Can a two months baby climb up a tamarind tree? Can any person kill a tiger with the seed of a tamarind? But the wealthy man should not say no. So he said, yes, it might have happened. Then second one. One day, my great grandfather climbed up a tree. There were many grapes on the tree. He plucked them. They turned to be huge golden colored jackfruit. He was so excited. Brought them home. Cut them. To our surprise, there were gold coins. We gave some to this gentleman. You can guess the age of great-grandfather and you can say whether grapes are big trees or climbers. And how can the grapes turn to be jackfruits? And in the jackfruits, how can there be gold coins? But 
if the wealthy man says no he has to give money to those guys so he said yes you are right now third one story one day i was passing through a jungle of i found a lion i killed it tore its skin sold it i got 1000 dollars i gave 500 dollars to this gentleman when he asked as loan but he did not return me now it is very tough time to the wealthy man the mediator is the village said if he says yes he has to pay 500 dollars if he says no also he has to pay money as per the rule so he said yes what you said is correct now it is the fourth one's turn to put his plan into action so he started narrating his story one day i went for fishing i threw a net into the river i caught a huge fish i was very happy took it home and asked my mother to cook it at the same time this gentleman came to our house we asked him to stay for lunch when my mother cut the fish to our surprise there were precious stones diamonds rubies and pearls this gentleman asked that he wanted to buy them we sold him but he did not pay us money till now the wealthy man simply said yes i agree now who turn so the gentleman said now it is my turn to tell my story said the wealthy man other four including village said agreed i had a huge field of cotton in my piece of land i got enormous crops after extracting cotton to my surprise one of the sepals started growing magnificently i brought it home one day it broke and four guys came out of it those four guys are none other than these four sitting in front of me as they came out in my cotton field these are my slaves so i made them work in my field after selling my cotton i kept money in my cupboard these four guys escaped with that money now they are found that money will definitely be in their pockets he turned to village said and said the village said check their pockets and found money which they gained by cheating others there is no proof in their stories but there is proof in his i mean in this wealthy man's story so they had to give that money to that wealthy man then he turned to the village head and said sir this is the way these four guys cheat people one of my friends who was in their village became victim and told about these four guys ways of making money we should not leave such people they should be given tough work and they should be made realize the significance of hard work and how hard working people feel when they are treated by these who lead parasitic life villages had appreciated the gentleman's presence of mind and made them work in his field and pay to those from whom they had taken the money in this way from their monthly salary and thus it's a good moral story applicable to all categories of people all sorts of people let's come with some more interesting topics in our next video till then bye